Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, we're going to talk about one that came back from last year that I personally love and it is Fall in Bloom. Oh yes, you guys, they brought her back. I personally prefer the original packaging. Um... Yeah, uh, the packaging this year, it's pretty, it's faceted, but I just loved this packaging. There was just something about it that was just, it really just called to me. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about the juice, shall we? Scent notes are Juicy Plum, Wild Blooms, and Velvet Moss. This is a very sweet scent, in my opinion, but it's subdued sweetness. It's not candy sweet. It's probably a sweet plum. I don't really get a lot of floral. Even though they say wild blooms and they have it all over the bottle, I don't get a lot of floral from this. Although I do pick up that moss note, which is an earthen type of a note. So this is different in the fact that it's sweet, yet earthen. And it's absolutely beautiful. It is a perfect transition scent from summer into the fall, and I adore it. Oh, yes, it is really, really good. It does have, the sweetness is, is a plum sweetness, however. I will say it does give off slight candy vibes like slight it's like borderline but it, it not enough for me to say it's candy sweet you know what I mean but I do like it and I think it's absolutely beautiful it is perfect it is sweet it is sexy it is feminine and I absolutely love this scent but uh let's get into the comparisons I know that's what you guys are waiting for I know it is I know it is yo over on Instagram there is a creator over there, and she was adamant, absolutely adamant, that this next scent I'm going to show you guys is actually a repackage of Fall and Bloom, and I about fell out my chair, and it's Fruity Sherbert Scoop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, yeah, really, really? Scent notes are Rainbow Sherbert, Zesty Orange, and Sunkissed Strawberry. No, like this is full on sweet tarts. Like this is most definitely candy sweet without a doubt. Like it is so sweet. Baby, you're going to get a toothache. You're going to get a toothache from this. I know it. Oh my God. I love it. I absolutely love this one. I've already put a nice, look at that. I already got a nice healthy dent in her. Like I probably should have gotten backups, but I have so much in my collection to be really honest. This would probably take me years to get through, like years. Because of how many other scents I change up all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love this. Um, but is this Fall and Bloom? <laughs> no. Honey, no. Baby girl, baby girl. No, no. I saw another one. Where they were comparing it to MFK's Baccarat Rouge. Yes. This is the Dossier version, which I'm literally almost out of. I prefer to use this one because of the fact that Baccarat Rouge is freaking fracking expensive, yo. And this is not, at least not in my opinion, not in comparison. So I'd rather use this one all the time because in honesty, this is actually even stronger. Like, stronger lasts longer. It's crazy. Scent notes are saffron, orange blossom, jasmine, plum, cedarwood, oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. Now I see there's plum and oak moss in both of these. But bruh, no, no, no. In fact, this is a closer dupe to in the, well, in the stars is a closer dupe to Baccarat Rouge than uh, Fall and Bloom would ever be. No, no, no. Can they see them in the same scent family because of the plum and the oak moss? Yes. But there's something much more distinctive about Fall and Bloom 
And I'm wondering if it's that wild blooms that I don't really pick up that could be what's setting this apart. But are they in the same scent family? Yes. I would say that they're probably maybe second cousins, maybe. Yeah. But there's definitely a distinction between the two of them. So they are, it is not a repackage and it is not a dupe. No, 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 no. Next one that I saw and y'all, she's a YouTuber and I, I'm, I'm like shook. And if you know who this person is, don't, I don't want to call anybody out. I'm not trying to call out people when I make these videos. It's literally just the comparisons for me. They get me shook sometimes, but I'm not trying to call anybody out. I'm not trying to throw shade on anybody's specific name. So if you recognize who this is, or any of these for that matter, don't say anything in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. But this individual on YouTube, she was claiming that Sunset Glow, yes, Sunset Glow, was Fall and Bloom. Now Sunset Glow is fresh coconut sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower and caramelized vanilla, This is cherry coconut with caramel. Very, very sweet. Very gourmand. This is sweet, but it's not gourmand. No, no, uh, no, like not even same, same scent family. Maybe adopted. She could be adopted, but no, no. I, I have no words for it. I have no words for it. Like this, you definitely get the cherry seltzer and the coconut and that caramelized vanilla note that's so creamy, dreamy, beautiful. No, it, they're nothing alike. Like nothing, nothing, nothing. Now, what I will say, y'all, I personally believe this is a spot on dupe for... Burberry Her. Yes, Burberry Her. I don't have it in a full size. I only have it in the little travel roll-on ball. Oh, my God. Yo, yo. Yes, um, scent notes on Burberry Her. Scent notes are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, cherry, currant, orange, and lemon with violet and jasmine, Musk, vanilla, cashmere, woody notes, patchouli, amber, and oak moss. Yes, oak moss. Now, y'all, this is 100% an extremely, like, I, I, I'm kind of backtracking a little bit. I wouldn't say spot on. But God dang, are they close? There's only like maybe a 2%, maybe 2% difference. The oak moss is the same. They both have a berry fruity note, which is a darker fruit like plum, uh, sour cherry, black currant, blackberry, those type of scents. They're, they're very all similar, each of them. And they're both sweet but they're not gourmand i would not call either one of them gourmand but this most definitely to me smells like burberry her like literally they're siblings for sure for sure siblings um same mama same daddy you know but they're siblings they're siblings so um if you've Always wanted Burberry her, get you some fall and bloom because baby, she good. Oh, she good. Yeah, yo. There literally is only the tiniest bit difference and I'm not even really sure what that difference specifically is, but I, they're not a hundred percent identical, but they're damn close. Like damn close. Like most people maybe would not even determine a difference. They would think they'd smell identical. 
I just pick up a slight variation in each of them, but it's so slight, it's scary. So, yes, that is my thoughts and review and comparison on Fall and Bloom. What did you think? Do you like Fall and Bloom? Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? Let me know. You know, I, you guys know I love to hear from you. I want to know, I want to know your thoughts. I love it. I love it. I love it. Other than that, y'all, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time I upload. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.